G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and for today's video we'll be taking you through the server-side JavaScript function to write or to print out text using server-side JavaScript. So the write function in server-side JavaScript allows you to print any value, be it a string or a variable that you've stored, into your cloud page or email. You can jump onto the syntax guide by jumping onto the marketing cloud documentation in server-side JavaScript and we can see the write function listed under the utilities and under the uh, string functions and write. There it is here. So we can use the write functionality here, which gives us the write function. You can also find the platform variant of this by going into the platform variants under client browser functions and write. These are both write functions. One you can use without the core library, the other one you do require the core library. So we'll use the platform response write to start with and then we'll use the core library one secondly. So jumping over to Marketing Cloud, and I've got my Marketing Cloud SSJS write function content block, which is plugged into a cloud page to let me do some quick writing and testing. Let's start off by making our server-side JavaScript tag. We'll of course do a script tag. Let's start our script tag, and of course we'll use the run at server. Just like that. So now that we have our server-side script tag done, we can then put in our write function. Now our write function we're gonna use is gonna be the platform response write. So we can copy this example from our code example here and paste it directly into our code. Sample text contained in a JavaScript block. So let's try that out. We'll go save and go to our screen and refresh and sample text in JavaScript block, perfect. So what about doing a variable? Well, in server-side JavaScript, we of course do a variable this variable test and test can be here is some text and then we can have that variable printed or written inside of our write function you can print it there using the variable's name as test printing it directly with the platform response write and that's what we have to do so we're going to save and try it out for ourselves go refresh and here is some text we can also use this to concatenate things together give additional values such as var number our number could be 1234. We can then do test plus 1234, uh, which of course our variable was called num. This should now print out the value of test and then 1234 as the number after it. So I'll go save and try to run it. Looking good, there it is. Now what about the other write function? Well, outside of the platform functions, back in utilities under string functions, and we have our other write function. As you can see, this one is just the word write. There is no platform response before it. So we can try this out. Right. Take that value, jump into my page and just have that value as write. And I go save and let's see what happens. It's going to give us a internal error. And the reason for this is we do have to provide the platform core load. So if we scroll back up to our documentation, we'll find in the server-side JavaScript guide at the top here, you can scroll down and see what it looks like to load in one of our libraries in particular, our core library. So here we have our platform support. We can platform load core. This allows us to use our library functions denoted in our first section of functions here. So the platform functions don't require the library. Everything else in all these menu items does require the core library. So we can jump back in, put the core library at the top here to load in our library, which allows us to now use our write function. Let's try again, go save and run. Once again, we can also do those variables. So I can say a var of text equals some text. And I can do a var of a number is equal to a number. Just like that. Might make this number a bit different. And so we should now be able to see text and number being added together to create a text and a number. So I say text plus number. The output should be a string as it adds this number as a string onto the end of this string, which is a number. Let's have a look. And there we are, the string and the number added to the end. Now the write function is a fantastic way to introduce HTML or other static elements into your email build. For example, if you do need to print out a table, for example, you can use the write function to print out a bordered table. You can write out that function, do some AMP script or some server-side JavaScript, and then close out that table. 
Using this write function is a similar way to doing the output line inside of your main uh, AMP script code block. Doing it like this allows you to break it up. We can have a function in between. Again, the write function is a way of printing that information out onto your email. It allows you to use strings or variables, just like I've shown here. One thing to be aware of though, is the write functions are a little bit slower than not using the write functions. So sometimes breaking up your script or code blocks and using static HTML will be faster than using the write functions. But of course, you can't do static text inside of a loop. You will have to write out that variable or dynamic content. And I hope you found this quick intro to the write function and server-side JavaScript useful. I put links to the documentation into the video description below. And if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.